Well, I'm back from my grand stage managing adventures, back to training at home, but it's time to shake things up a little bit. That's right, I, the spin pole queen, am practicing on a static pole today. I did a few twirls on the static pole the other day after conditioning, and I thought to myself, wait, that's actually kind of fun. So here I am putting knee pads over my long pants to gear up to do a full training session just on static. Or, well, I guess what with my pants and my socks, this is more of just a spin session. I won't be able to climb or anything with all this fabric in the way. I also haven't put even a single dollop of grip solution onto my hands, which means I'll be able to slip and slide exactly as I need to. I perform a couple of pirouettes, then let myself slide down to the floor. I stand up somewhat clumsily, grabbing at the pole for support. I pretty much never train static spins because one, spin pole is so much more fun, uh, but mostly two, I've had a huge mental blockage about it for a year now. I had the pole on static when I yanked it loose from the ceiling and that was really scary. The physics of pressure against static versus spin pole means that I feel like I'm so much more likely to tear a static pole down because any force I apply goes directly against the surface as opposed to a spin where the force kind of moves along with the rotation. So you might notice that my first few spins and tricks here are tight and close to the pole with not much air time. I'm still getting used to adding power to them for fear the pole will come crashing down. I rotate my arm. The physics of spin versus static also play out really differently on your body, so I'm finding that my shoulders want to collapse in order to let me slide down when gravity will just take care of that for me. Since I keep ending up on the ground, I'm trying to incorporate sexy little floor work moves or cute ways to stand back up, but um, you know, it's a work in progress. <laughs> I try to shove my arm through a gap between my squatting body and the pole, but it gets stuck. I perform back hook and front hook spins. At this point, I'm actually really having fun. <laughs> having pants on means that the pole just glides against my legs instead of painfully catching the skin, so I can just try these spins over and over again, like a kid on a playground. I perform a fairy spin in which one ankle is hooked onto the pole and the back leg kicks behind me in a stag position. It is quite difficult to keep your body in proper position during a static spin though. Here my torso is far too close to the pole so my stomach grinds against it while performing the spin. One thing I have to work on is shoulder engagement. When I reach up to grab the pole I need to lift my hand as high as possible then sort of twist my arm so my shoulder and lats engage instead of just relying on my bicep and forearm. And as you know my elbows are hyper flexible so I really need to focus on this to prevent injury. My next fairy spin is much floatier as my torso stays away from the pole. Speaking of elbows, here's the split grip carousel spin. I just got comfortable with this on spin pole, but I find it really creepy on static. I can do it just fine on one side, but the other does not work at all. My bottom arm, which grips the pole upside down, seems to get stuck and it feels like I'll snap my forearm instead of completing the spin. Of course, time to do more split grip moves. <laughs> Here I'm trying a split grip cradle into a straddle that's supposed to bring me down to the ground, real sexy like. I can't get enough air time to actually straddle my legs though, <laughs> and all that contact with my stomach skin is uncomfortable. Here's a basic fireman spin, where your torso faces the pole and both of your legs connect with the pole at the ankle, so you look like a little spinning frog, or I guess a fireman. <laughs> On my first attempt, I put my feet against the pole instead of my ankles, so I'm trying again. These are fun because you end up with your feet below you and you can easily just stand back up instead of having to like clamber up from your knees. 
The fireman variation where you bring the pole between your thighs feels very bad on static, in my opinion. <laughs> I wince and grab my thigh. Here I'm just experimenting. After a failed attempt at a trapped chair spin, I'm starting to try hooking one leg onto the pole while I spin to see where it takes me. It takes me to Dizzy Town, surprisingly, because I can spin on a spin pole all gosh darn day, but these quick rotations to the floor apparently just shake up my brain. <laughs> Here are some attempts at reverse grab moves, and I think I'm trying to recreate the thing where you get a huge, powerful start, straddle your legs in the air, and then grab the pole behind you. But also I don't know how to do that, so <laughs> these are more like Juliet spins. My forearms are starting to feel the pain, and then this really quick slide to the floor burns my palm. At this point, I'm running out of moves to try, and I'm pretty tired, so I'll leave you with some thoughts while on-screen Kelsey freestyles to Numb by Linkin Park, which copyright dictates I cannot play for you. I'm really glad I was able to get through this mental barrier to try static spins again because I actually had a great time during this training session. Sure, I didn't feel as hardcore or serious as some of my tricks based sessions where I end up coated head to toe in eye tack with bruises stamped on my inner thighs, but that's a good thing. It's good to let yourself just play every once in a while. What do you think? Are you a static supporter or a hardcore spin enthusiast like me? Let me know in the comments below. Bye! The subscribe button appears on the right. A suggested video and playlist appear on the left. 